will The Rock betray Roman Reigns? The signs are already there and as we'll see The Rock is already plotting the end to the Roman Empire. Join us there as WrestleMania looks at why The Rock will end Roman's empire. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania Shorts. The Rock is back and judging from what fans saw at WWE's WrestleMania kickoff event in Vegas, The Rock is now aligned with Roman Reigns. Or is he? Ever since that epic event, the WWE has been sending mixed signals that have already had fans talking about The Rock's real agenda. Is he working as a double agent for Cody and waiting to betray Roman Reigns? Is The Rock looking to become the head of the bloodline? Is there something else on The Rock's mind? Well, this is more than speculation because fans have already pointing out clues they've seen on TV that support their theories. Let's look into them. The first being, the clues are no accident. Now, sometimes fans can read too much into things they see on TV because they are hoping for a big angle to happen or just something good to occur to their favorite wrestler. As longtime WWE fans know, the WWE storytelling wasn't always a thing of beauty. Storylines wandered all over the place, often being dropped without notice, whether it was a SmackDown hacker or Liv Morgan's love triangle with Lana and Bobby Lashley. But things have improved tremendously under Chief Content Officer Triple H and Rob Fee, who was hired in 2022 as Director of Long-Term Creative in WWE. The WWE now encourages its viewers to look for hidden clues on WWE programming to understand where storylines are headed. The 2022 White Rabbit clues that foreshadowed the late great Bray Wyatt's return seized the WWE Universe's imagination. We've mentioned this before, but it's worth noting simply because it exemplifies the WWE leveling up its storytelling game, utilizing The Rock's powerful presence. One of the biggest clues has been how the WWE has placed its wrestlers today, much like a director positions actors next to each other to subtly send a message. The WWE started this off at its kickoff show by how The Rock was positioned next to other wrestlers. WWE Hall of Famer Bully Ray commented on this during a recent Busted Open radio. Have you ever seen Roman Reigns look like a co-star in the last three years? Did you see him look like a co-star at that press conference? Rock knows how to command the spotlight. He made every other man on stage look like boys because of his stature and because he knows how to stand and command a spotlight. I've never seen Roman look so secondary in my life. Now part of this is due to The Rock's status as a living legend. As fans have repeatedly seen, anytime The Rock shows up, the WWE Universe loses its mind. Few wrestlers can stand next to The Rock without looking like a mere mortal in the eyes of wrestling fans. The WWE knows this and it's capitalizing on this to show that Roman Reigns may claim to be the tribal chief, but that it's a different story when his cousin is around. A bully Ray isn't the only person to notice how The Rock and Roman were positioned differently. When Rock and Roman left the kickoff show, Roman was noticeably a step back from The Rock, a sign that a man who demands that people acknowledge him was in the awe of The Rock. The power dynamic has shifted. Some fans may think that Roman was surprised by his cousin slapping Cody and siding with him, hence his deferring to The Rock. However, Roman, who has assembled a bloodline nearly three years ago and rules it like a tyrant, has already lost control. It's clear from the signs we're about to see as we look at SmackDown's cornucopia of clues. More clues emerged on the 16th February SmackDown when The Rock showed up to address the WWE Universe about the fallout from the kickoff show and Cody Rhodes' decision to challenge Roman for the title at WrestleMania 40. The first was that as soon as The Rock showed up, and it's worth mentioning he made separate entrance from the rest of the bloodline, all eyes were on him. When The Rock began cutting his probo, Roman didn't say a word. Is this because The Rock has already taken control of the bloodline? Well, some fans think so. And one of the reasons fans believe The Rock has already established himself as a new tribal chief is that The Rock has interacted with Jimmy, Solo Sokoa, and even Paul Heyman. While Paul Heyman has repeatedly shown his only loyalty is to himself, despite doing a great job groveling whether it's Brock Lesnar or Roman Reigns, Jimmy and Solo's sudden affiliation with The Rock is a bit of a surprise. Why would they suddenly turn on Roman after years of doing his dirty work to keep the undisputed championship? Or is it? While well, fans have already seen Jey Uso break off from the bloodline, at one point Jimmy Uso seemed willing to as well until he made the odd decision that he didn't want the power to go over Jey's head, which was supposed to explain Jimmy costing Jey's victory over Roman at SummerSlam. Fans have seen Solo Sokoa second guess Roman and even seem like he was ready to deliver a and spike to him. It's possible The Rock has been in touch with all three, perhaps working a coup from within. This could explain how Paul Heyman seemed to look up at The Rock at the WrestleMania kickoff and seemed in awe of him. That may seem like a stretch, but not when you watch The Rock's appearance on SmackDown. 
Not only did he seem to ignore Roman in terms of talking with him, he pointed to Roman and told him that Cody's story was ending, but their story was only beginning. As we noted in our analysis of SmackDown, The Rock did not give the same hand signal as the Bloodline, that is raising their index finger to symbolize that they're one. Instead, The Rock had his index finger raised and his thumb pointed at Roman, or was The Rock making an L for loser? Well, some fans think so. Now is The Rock referring to an alliance with Roman? The Rock did refer to the Bloodline as a duo which led to Solo and Jimmy raising an eyebrow. Is The Rock sowing dissent in the group to break it apart before WrestleMania? If so, what kind of con is The Rock playing? Looking at all these clues, there appears to be contradictions. The Rock said that the Bloodline is a duo, so why would he be conspiring against Roman? Also, The Rock told the fans he would do everything to make Cody lose. This seems at odds with The Rock hurting Roman. However, these seeming contradictions and others that fans point to when they argue that the so-called clues are just a case of fans reading too much into things may not be contradictions at all. The Rock's reason for saying the Bloodline is a duo may be to lull Roman into a false sense of security and not seeing that he's being disposed of. Furthermore, The Rock may want to make Cody Rhodes lose just so he can make sure Roman keeps the Undisputed Championship. The reason, of course, would be so that The Rock could capture the title from Roman. But the story is just beginning. Now, WrestleMania is over six weeks away, but this means that WWE is at the point in the storyline where they want to keep fans guessing. Has The Rock decided to build a bloodline around himself? If so, one would think Roman would have to acknowledge The Rock and become a subordinate, but how to explain the points we've already addressed? The reality is that the WWE is still brewing the storyline leading into WrestleMania 40 and the ones that will build afterward. There are still ingredients to add and the storyline still needs time to cook. And just imagine, the WWE has already dropped several clues that have had fans head spinning. What other twists and turns could they expect and what other speculation will they fuel? Ultimately, fans will see other clues, and it's also likely they'll see so-called fans or news sites report clues that have been fed to them by the WWE to generate more speculation. Their storyline is one of the most exciting in many years, and thus far, the clues point to The Rock and Roman Reigns having an explosive confrontation that leads to not a match at WrestleMania 40, of course, but at WrestleMania 41. It's also possible that WWE plans to turn this into a series that stretches out between now and Mania and 41 perhaps with matches at one of both Saudi Arabia shows and SummerSlam. The Rock has a huge investment in making the WWE more successful than ever, thanks to his rumored incentives for being a TKO Holdings board member. This storyline can make The Rock and the WWE some huge bucks. But don't get us wrong, this doesn't mean that every clue that fans point to is conclusive evidence where things are going or whether it was meant to be a clue at all. For example, one theory points to The Rock wearing a leopard spot print during his SmackDown appearance, and some fans believe that this was a subtle clue that leopards don't change their spots and that The Rock isn't suddenly turning heel after years as a babyface. That being said, the WWE routinely points out clues now to forward its plots and keep fans talking about storylines from show to show. The water cooler talk of the 90s lives on, expect now it's a case of millions of people sharing their thoughts amongst the internet wrestling community. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.